In this video, I'm going to show you which items you should and shouldn't be getting from the Alliance Store in Warpath. So, let's get started. The Alliance Store is a special type of store in the game from where you can buy items using Alliance Contribution Coins. You can get these coins through doing Alliance Contributions, Assists, joining builds and collecting resources in your Alliance territory. You can then use these coins to buy various items in the Alliance Store. For this video, I'll be giving these contribution coins a gold value, and then I'll be comparing the cost of various items in this store with the other stores like the VIP store and the black market to find out whether they're worth buying or not. In my opinion, the best way to assign a gold value to these contribution coins is to compare their value with the gold value of the VIP points. As VIP points is the only item in the Alliance store that has a fixed gold value in the game. One VIP point costs one gold while a lot of other items can be bought for discounts from the VIP store and black market. Since we know the gold value of VIP points, we can now find out the gold value of contribution points by comparing them with the cost of VIP points in the Alliance store. Since you can get 100 VIP points worth 100 gold for 30 contribution points, the value of each contribution point should be roughly around 3.33 gold. Now using this, we can find the gold value of all other items in the contribution store. If the items cost less gold than what they cost at the VIP store and black market, then that would mean that you should buy those items from the Alliance store. However, if they cost more at the Alliance store, then it would mean that you're better off buying VIP points from the store instead of those items. The first item is a premium resource pick which gives 500,000 resources for 80 contribution points, which is equivalent to 267 gold. If you check the VIP store for resources, you'll notice that you're able to buy 5 million resources for 1,250 gold if you're at the appropriate VIP level. This means that it only costs 125 gold for 500,000 resources. So you're better off buying resources from the VIP store instead of the Alliance store. Then there's the 8 hour rush item which costs 240 contribution points that's equivalent to 800 gold. If you again look at the VIP store, you'll notice that the 8 hour rush can be bought for only 432 gold. So again, you're better off buying this item from there. The third item is VIP points, which is 1 gold each. I'd recommend buying this item once you've bought all the other heavily discounted items from the Alliance store. The fourth item is camp coupons. They're worth 60 points or 200 gold each. The cheapest way to get these items is from the VIP store. However, even there they cost 270 gold per item, so I definitely recommend buying these camp coupons from the Alliance store. The fifth and sixth items are both War Machine statues. You can buy the first 10 for 130 contribution points, or 433 gold each, and the next 10 for 265 contribution points, or 883 gold each. Both of these are much better than buying officer statues from the VIP store which cost 3200 gold at VIP 15 and 2800 gold at VIP 20. However, it's up to you to decide how quickly you want to max out War Machine. If you want to max him out slowly then you'd only want to buy 10 per week which would cost you 1300 contribution points every week and it would take 72 weeks and a total of 93600 contribution points to max him out this way. However, if you want to max him out quickly, it would cost you 3,950 contribution points every week, and it would take you only 36 weeks, but a total of 142,200 points. So in the first case, you're spending 36 more weeks to max him out, but you save 48,600 contribution points, which can be used to buy 162,000 VIP points. So it's up to you how you want to max him out. I prefer going the slow way once I have most of his skills at level 3. Then you have silver materials. These are the best items to get from the Alliance store. They only cost 15 contribution points per silver material, which is only 50 gold. Even at the black market, you get these silver materials for 100 gold each, which is with an 80% discount, the lowest price in the game. So getting them for 50 gold is in fact a 90% discount, which is way better than the 80% deal there. The next one is airlifts. These cost 80 contribution points, that is 267 gold. You can get these items from the VIP store for 300 gold each. However, you can also get a ton of these from jurisdiction events, so I usually don't buy them from here, even though I'm getting them at a lower price. But in case you're someone who airlifts a lot and tends to run out of airlifts frequently, then it's definitely worth buying them from here instead of the VIP store. 
Then you have entry permits. These can be bought for 240 contribution points each, which are worth 800 gold in the game. The only other way of obtaining these entry permits in the game is from the level 16 VIP store, where it costs 2160 gold. This means that you're getting these permits for almost an 85% discount from here. So I would definitely recommend buying them from here every week so you can stack up on them slowly. Then towards the bottom you again have silver materials but this time you can get 5 of these for 165 contribution points. That is you're getting each for 110 gold which is slightly higher than the price you pay for silver materials at an 80% discount at the black market. So it's up to you whether or not you want to buy these items, I usually don't buy them. Finally you're left with golden blueprints which either cost 2360 points which are worth 7867 gold each or 4720 points which cost 15733 gold each depending on which blueprints you buy. Even though you cannot buy these items using gold in the game, I still don't think it's worth spending your contribution points on them. If you're able to save up enough contribution points to just buy 382 of these golden blueprints at 2360 points each, you'll be able to buy just enough VIP points to go from VIP 0 to VIP 16 which gives you one free golden blueprint daily. Now this might seem like a lot but if you combine it with the gold that you're getting from events then you'll definitely be able to reach VIP 16 a lot faster. In fact with just 96 of these blueprints you'll be able to get from VIP 0 to VIP 12 which will give you two free officer statues daily. And with just 45 of them you'll be able to go from VIP 0 to VIP 10 for one free statue daily. So in my opinion it's much better to just buy VIP points from the alliance store as you'll get much more value in the long term from doing so instead of buying blueprints from there. So that's pretty much all I had to talk about the Alliance store. Let me know what you guys think about the store in the comments down below and also whether you agree with my analysis or not. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.